G'day guys, Shaka here from Azrael Armory. Um, just here to do a mag diagnosis, troubleshoot and fix for leaky valves, O-rings, anything of that sort. Some people are having issues with gas leaking out the top, out the valve or out the bottom. Um, all of these are quite a simple fix and pretty easy to diagnose. I figured I'd walk you guys through it. Um, first things first, changing a bulb. So you want to purge all the rest of the gas out, even if you've shot your blaster, it's empty, hit the purge, release all the gas, take your end cap off, take yourself an Allen key. So I like to keep my finger on the purge valve while I twist. Okay, that's it. Now you can see that's really another thing too, making sure you turn your cap as far down as you can to really pierce a hole nice. If you don't go down far enough, you'll end up with a tiny little hole and it will struggle a little bit. Now, you want some pure silicon oil. It's gonna be your friend with all this. Abbey gun oil, same sort of thing. What you can do is these O-rings can be pinched pretty easy there's two o-rings one there one there um, basically if you don't keep them lubed up so this mags had about 50 odd bulbs through it now um, so it's getting a little bit dry I should probably have looped it up sooner um, so what you want to do is take a dab of, of pure silicon oil just run it round make sure it's all over it Chuck in your new bulb, and off you go. Make sure that when you put it in, that it is seated correct, don't push in. Just turn, it's going in. Um, I don't want this one to pressurize your shirt, there's something else I wanna show you guys. So, if you are having leaks at the valve, sometimes, um, take your little valve key. Uh, we'll have heaps of them in stock next week. We did have a heap in stock. We have since been ravaged uh, for them. So what you want to do is take your mat. Sometimes they can come real tight from factory. Uh, what you want to do is just back it off just a little bit. Chuck it in your blaster, give it a try until you find the sweet spot. It could either be towards the tight end or the loose end as to where your sweet spot sits. If all that fails and it's still leaking out the top, basically what you want to do is just turn it all the way. Just take like a little flathead. Pick up your valve. And I don't know if you can see it, but the O-ring is sitting down in there. Just take your O-ring out. Seat it back where it needs to go. Straight over the end, add some pure silicon oil, stab it on there like so, make sure she's nice and greased up. I like to put a little bit in the channel, just so the o-ring doesn't pinch on its way in, or come back off. When you're reseating the valve, what you want to do is you want to twist and ever so slightly push in at the same time. You don't want to go forcing it in, you will just pull that o-ring off. We're going to go until we get pretty much all the way tight and then just back off just a little bit and we'll try to find the sweet spot. That's pretty tight there. What I'll do is I'll go tight, and some of them are tight, and show you guys what it does in factory. It's a pierce bowl, so we want to pop that in. We want to pop the nut in. Like I said, don't push, let it find its own thread. You can feel it, it should be nice and smooth. And then once you feel it start to pressurize up, quickly turn through it so that your cap slides on. You want to be deep enough so it slides on, but you shouldn't hear anything leaking out the top now. So, seems to be firing okay. Let's go. Let's go a bit tighter, see what happens. So if we go tight, 
very weak sort of kick back. Sometimes the slide will only come a little bit back. It won't actually come all the way back. So if we back off some. So I'm starting to hear gas leak out now. So I'm tightening it just a bit more. So I don't hear nothing. Much louder, much heavier kick. It's a much heavier kick. Now, if all that fails, it may just need a new valve, um, which we do have um, at Azure's Armory. Also too, I've noticed a lot of talk about people moving their mags. So, you know, moving it round, think, you know, so the hammer strikes the valve better. Um, and they're putting, you know, tape and things on here, which is an easy fix, um, which is all good. But what you can do, what we've noticed is sometimes the mag releases, especially on the ambi mag release, um, isn't exactly holding the mag in place to where it should be. I had that issue with my XTP, so the slide was barely reciprocating and at times it make like this little pop noise um, and not do anything. So we changed the mag release over, that's very solid like, and then you push through, very nice click and holds it very firmly in place. And um, that sorted that issue. So these are just some things that you can do. Um, and you will have to do general maintenance on these mags. You will have to check your O-rings every now and again. You will have to make sure they're lubed. Um, you know, and, and at the end of every day, just pull your blaster apart, which I've already put up a video on how to pull apart the shark. They're a little bit different to the XTPs internally. Um, so I've shown how to reassemble the full auto, everything else. Um, if you watch that video, um, XTP is much easier. Um, less parts in there, uh, but they're all very simple. So they're all very easy to work with. Um, at the end of, like I say, a skirmish day, just pull it apart, punch your pin, rack your slide back without a mag in, give it all a wipe down um, with like a microfiber cloth or like a paper towel, something like that. Um, something that won't leave little bits in there. And Leave it all up with some Abbey oil or pure silicon oil. Um, try not to use a grease because it will attract crap um, and build up in everything. So just wipe your slide down, wipe everything down, you get a whole heap of black crap off it. Lube up all your points of contact, your hammer um, behind your nozzle. Um, it just helps the piston and lube to push more gas through. Lube up your outer barrel. Um, your recoil spring, everything that basically moves, keep it all nice and lubed up and you'll notice that she'll uh, perform much better and love you for it. So anyway guys, if this video helped you out, give us a thumbs up and uh, until the next one, cheers.